Mark Burley made his return to U.S. Cellular Field. He had not pitched against his former team, and he came back tonight, and the fans were very appreciative of the effort they saw for 12 seasons from Burley. Really like how the Blue Jays, when Mark Burley was announced to start the bottom of the first inning, they let him go out on the field all by himself to soak up the applause from the White Sox fans here today, and I thought he pitched a heck of a game. In five innings, he was very sharp. His cutter was very good early on. He was spotting his fastball. He was using his changeup. He was getting a lot of ground ball outs early on in the game. Ran into trouble in the sixth inning. Only got one out. But overall, I thought Mark Burley was very good. The White Sox scored three runs in the sixth inning to tie it up. And once again, it was Melky Cabrera coming through with a big hit to once again give the Blue Jays the lead. Hit a big home run in the last night's game for the Blue Jays and then had to come up with a big base hit here. Runners second and third, first pitch hitting. And when there's runners on base, Melky is waiting for that ball. He gets it from Matt Lindstrom, ringing double up the gap. Uh, It was booted a little bit in center field. He went to third base. But Melky Cabrera has been driving in big. Big runs, getting big hits for the Blue Jays all season long, and he did it again. Jose Bautista would add an RBI single, a little insurance run in that inning as well, and the bullpen wrapped it up. Casey Jansen picked up his 19th save of the season. Drew Hutchison will go to the mound on Sunday afternoon trying to win the series against the White Sox.